To load model cable data from Cableize database, just click Load Cable and type or scan the cable's part number. In some cases, you may have a cable in your possession that you know is good but don't know its part number, or you may want to scan the database for duplicates. To do this, use the Search Database function. First, measure the cable in question, then click Search Database. For this cable, we find an identical match. The matching cable's part number appears here, and its descriptive notes appear here. When Cable I can't find a match, it doesn't just give up, but offers you several alternative searches. Now I'll change the cable on the fixture to one that's slightly different from the one we just tested. Click Test Cable and see if you can tell how this cable differs from the last one. In this case, there's no shield. When you click Search Database, a message appears indicating that an exact match is not found and giving you some choices. Click Ignore Shield and we locate a cable that has the same basic wiring but includes a shield. You can also see in the summary box that the matching cable has a shield icon and the test cable does not. Now let's measure the same unshielded cable. Click Search Database, but this time choose Ignore Connector Gender. We find an unshielded cable with the same wiring, but that has a male connector on the right instead of a female. The wiring looks different here because of the twist in the middle, but if I flip the right side view so that we look into the terminations, you can see it's the same. Remember that you can always look at the differences list to see how two cables are different if you cannot quickly tell from the schematic. This shows us that the wiring is identical because there are no entries in the list, but that the connectors are different. Next, let's remeasure the cable and search the database, but choose Match on Connectors Only. In this case, we're ignoring the cable's wiring and just matching on the connectors. A selection window appears because there are several matches. Double click on your choice to load it. Finally, you might encounter a cable in which the connectors and wiring match, but where there is a resistance threshold failure in one or more conductors. To demonstrate this, I'll lower the conduction threshold to 0.7 ohms, put back the original shield cable we started with, and measure it. Here we see several conductors with resistance threshold violations. Click Search Database and choose Exact Match A match is loaded with the same wiring, but without any threshold violations or embedded resistors. Again, the Differences list shows exactly which conductors have failed.